Hi there guys. Well, this is a creature I never knew existed, which likes uh, obviously uh, to hide because it's been hiding for the past uh, 40 years. <laughs> you know, because I've never seen one like this. Um, pink fairy armadillo. Um, looks like about half an armadillo and more like a pencil case or something you'd put on the end of your pencil when I was at school. Never seen anything like this. The eye eye. Now you'd think uh, children would uh, know all about this uh, thing. You know, I used to go to school learn about bats, rats and cats. Never the eye eye. <laughs> Never an eye eye. Never seen this little chap before and uh, well, where has he been hiding all these years? The maned wolf, is this what it's called? Maned wolf or maned wolf or I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like a wolf, it looks, looks more like a fox or a dingo, you know, a native to Australia in the background here. And this looks like Australia, but um, Australians, I guess, will know, I'll know if they've ever seen one of these uh, dingoes on steroids before. It looks as if it's got a deer's feet or something like that. Should be called a deer dingo. Deary dingo. The maned wolf, of course. Tufty deer. There you go, it's a deer. And uh, I'm not sure about the tufts, but it's got little vampire fangs coming out there. You know, you'd just think you'd have saw one of those before, you know, but uh, nobody has. The vampire deer. I love the names they've come up with, the Tufty Deer, wow. The Dumbo Octopus. Looks as if he's been on a pub crawl. Uh, yeah. And here he is in action. Just flying around there, like, from pub to pub. I never saw that before. Patagonian Mara. Have you ever, down in Patagonia? You know, we have chip shops here in the UK. I'd imagine if you have anything of that nature in Patagonia, you could go in and order some Patagonian Mara with, with uh, some chips or whatever they have down there. I wonder if uh, anyone's ever seen one of those before. Looks like a rabbit. And I'm not really sure what it's what it'd be crossed with. A hair and uh, something else, uh, the face. Not really sure what that would be. <laughs> Looks rabbit-like. Don't know what Mara is. And the naked mole rat, of course. Of course. You know, um, I don't know what, what it's evolved from. <laughs> but it seems to have de-evolved, whatever it was. <laughs> I'm not really sure. A mold. A mole rat. Naked mole rat. Forgot to put his jacket on and the way out of its little den. Ara Wadi Dolphin. Ara Wadi Dolphin. Never saw a dolphin looking like this as long as this. This this is definitely crossed with something. Um, Ara Wadi Dolphin. The head looks a lot more round. And uh, I wonder if this has been genetically engineered. Hmm, a well guess. Again, when I was at school, I learned about giraffes, and I learned about uh, antelopes and such, but never a ger gerenuk, gerenuk, or whatever that would be pronounced as. A gerenuk, the gerenuk, yeah. You just think that, you know, some children would remember this from their school days, when they were learning about animals and different things from around the world, you'd think this would stick in someone's memory, wouldn't you? But of course, those that um, are against the Mandela effect will just say, well, you know, everybody's just forgotten. I can remember what it is. Liar. I'll tell you what, if you can remember what this thing is, please be honest and yeah, share your memories with us. You know, don't keep us all in suspense. And of course we have the dugong, the dugong, very well known 
species of the dugong family there and then we have the uh, Barbarossa the Bab Barbarossa which uh, definitely is something I wouldn't like to run into in a dark night um, something that a lot of people would like to uh, fry in a Sunday morning maybe but looks a bit like a hog with a lot of tusks coming out its mouth interesting and its nose and its mouth very interesting how this species has evolved wouldn't you say I wonder what these tusks would have evolved for what they'd be used for mm. and of course we have the lamprey the lamprey yeah just like a fish thing with suckers that you just keep as a pet of course you know if you have a fish tank you know if you're into that type of thing you've probably had one of those as a pet for like uh, years and years and I'm the one only one that's never seen one and then of course we have the the fossa you know from not I'm not sure if it's the cat family it looks more to me um, could be like a hyena crossed with a hyena with a, a panther hyena panther the fossa I'm not, I'm not sure where these legs would have came from they're quite powerful the, the back legs the face is more like a hyena or some some type of thing a jekyll or a hyena or something it's obviously a cross you can't fool me and then we have of course the star nosed mole yeah of course Hmm, to just suck in more chemtrails, more chemtrail fog in there. That's what they've evolved to actually save the planet Earth. These little things here, the star nose mole. Without those, planet Earth surely would not survive for another few years of uh, chemtrails. So, thank you, thank you God for creating this little thing. And then we have the uh, Sunda Kalugo. Sun, Sunda Kalugo Sunda Kalugo I've never seen anything like, like that in my entire life never seen anything like that in my entire life <coughs> the zebra duca this isn't a zebra by the way so if this um, you know if this is the official name of this uh, species this is not a zebra clearly see it's not a zebra it's more like a deer it's more like from the deer family so this is 100% not a zebra they haven't thought about this one I mean this they've just thrown this name out taking us for a bunch of idiots and then we have the yeti crab of course the yeti crab superb bird of paradise um, very original name, I would say. Very original name. And which one is the bird? I'm not sure. This one is a bird. And then what's this thing in the background? Um, what is it? Is it a shapeshifter or something? Shape shifting. I don't know what's going on there. Then we have the blobfish. Very. Uh, I'm sure I used to watch cartoons or something when I was a kid with these little monsters never really seen one for real this is my first time I must admit <coughs> there's someone just out fishing and just caught a blobfish you know you go just a normal everyday occurrence Cantor's giant soft shelled turtle well wow. <coughs> which which is the back and which is the front I'm not sure Gobi Jeroba Jeroboa. Jerboa. Well, it's like a gerbil type of thing. So it's a gerbil crossed with a kangaroo. <laughs> Where did they get feet like that? I've never seen anything like it in my life. Never seen anything quite like that. Japanese spider crab. The everyday Japanese spider crab. Obviously, nothing to do with Fukushima, of course. It's just an everyday size there you know nothing to do with radiation or nothing like that and then we have 
the uh, well I'm not quite sure what that thing is but looks if it's having a bad day a bad makeup day oops okay this is the red lipped batfish of course it is now I remember <laughs> now I remember of course it is looks you know let's put it this way I know a lot of people that uh, dive for uh, corals and make them into ashtrays I think this little chap is <laughs> would be extinct <laughs> if, if you know anyhow well sorry I haven't seen this little chap before the goblin shark yay yay the goblin shark I remember you know learning about all that when I was a kid you know when they were when they were giving you acid for your you know <laughs> packed lunch <laughs> at school and then we have the panda ant of course we do and then we have this uh, disgusting disgusting creature which of course you'll all tell me that you've seen this before or maybe I'll believe you maybe I won't and then we have the Umbonia spinosa wow the Umbonia Umbonia spinosa that's uh, quite a creature you would think that someone would have seen some little insect with a hat like this it looks like Jamiroquai it's like an insect who's a fan of Jamiroquai and just uh, made this little hat for itself <clears throat> brilliant and then we have of course the lowland streak Tenrec Tenrec what, the, what kind of name is a Tenrec I've never heard of a Tenrec before heard of a train wreck before <laughs> but never a ten wreck and then we have the hummingbird hawk moth of course the everyday you know common um, household name hummingbird hawk moth <laughs> yeah <laughs> alrighty and of course we have uh, this little creature who looks as if he could be used for dye or something to that effect you know be squished for its dye to make some nice blue dye sorry to say that the glaucus how do you pronounce that atlanticus glaucus atlanticus of course that's the size there don't clap please then we have mantis shrimp the mantis shrimp look at this this chap's been to see John Travolta surely he's been at a he's been at a disco this little guy the Venezuelan poodle moth of course the Paku fish with the human teeth yeah yeah he probably just goes to the same dentist as me just looks in on him you know every six months to get the plaque scraped off his teeth that's that's wonderful just a normal everyday paku fish you know nothing nothing crazy about that and then of course we have the giant ossopod so uh, well I'm sure there'll be a few uses for that thing never heard of it though Hmm, very nice. And then we have the uh, Sega antelope. The Sega antelope with the, the big nose thing, of course. That ever, everyone remembers from their childhood, don't they remember? It looks as if this thing could be like from, I'm not sure, like America, North America. The Sega antelope. Yeah, you remember this thing? And then we have uh, well, we have it again, smaller nose of course, different species. <laughs> the bush viper. Yeah, the bush viper. With the sticky out scales, of course. Every, every child remembers this from their, you know, biology books. Of course they do. It'd make rather a nice painting actually. And then we have the blue. Parrot fish. The parrot fish? 
Well, I know it's blue, but I mean, parrot fish? Are you sure? I mean, the parrot fish? To be honest with you, I think I've seen something like this before, but maybe not quite this blue, if you know what I mean. Um, Atlantic Ocean. I really thought the last time I saw something like this was in Australia. No idea it was from the Atlantic Ocean. I really wouldn't have guessed that. The Indian purple frog. The purple frog. Never heard of it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Never heard of you, man. Shoebill. The shoebill. So I guess it gets its name from its bill, which looks like a shoe. Shoebill. Yeah. Okapi, which is definitely a cross between a zebra and a horse, I would I would guess. Zebra and a horse, maybe. Not really sure. This looks more like a from the zebra species, but it's called an Okapi. Never heard of it before. Never heard that name before. I'm sorry, guys. There's just uh, every train in the UK is passing my window when I decide to do a video. You know, and it's probably quite demonic. But, you know, but there we have the okapi there just leaping around just in its normal hab, well, not in its normal habitat. It looks like someone's by a garden there, you know. <laughs> but, uh, and then we have the narwhal, which is like a whale with a unicorn horn. A unicorn horn. The narwhal. You remember this from your reality? Seriously? I mean, seriously, remember this guy from your childhood memories of uh, watching Jaws and studying about whales and plankton and, of course, the unicorn whale thing. And then the thorny dragon, you know. I can remember when people used to laugh when they say, well, there's different types of dragon species and whatnot. I remember the dragonfly. That's all I remember from my reality. Apparently, there's the thorny dragon. Yeah. Of course it is. The sea pig. The sea pig. I wonder if we have a flying pig as well. I wouldn't be surprised. But we have the sea pig. Which would be a nice alternative to your regular hogs for breakfast, wouldn't you say? This looks like a, like a blown up rubber glove. You know, if I had known better, this would be a hoax. But no, these are real creatures. These are real, genetically modified. I mean, real, real creatures. And of course, yeah, back to this chap again. And if you remember any of these animals, guys, please help me out. Thank you, guys. The Dumbo octopus. Looks as if he's been on a pub crawl. Uh, yeah. And here he is in action. Just flying around there like from pub to pub. I never saw that before. Patagonian Mara. Have you ever down in Patagonia? You know, we have chip shops here in the UK. I'd imagine if you have anything of that nature in Patagonia. You could go in and order some Patagonian Mara with, with uh, some chips or whatever they have down there. I wonder if uh, anyone's ever seen one of those before. Looks like a rabbit. And I'm not really sure what it's, what it would be crossed with. A hair and uh, something else. Uh, the face. I'm not really sure what that would be. <laughs> the maned wolf. Is this what it's called? Maned wolf or manned wolf or I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like a wolf. It looks, looks more like a fox or a dingo, you know, a native to Australia in the background here. And this looks like Australia, but um, Australians, I guess, will know, I'll know if they've ever seen one of these uh, dingoes on steroids before. It looks as if it's got a deer's feet or something like that. Should be called a deer dingo. Deary dingo. The maned wolf, of course. Tufty deer. There you go, it's a deer. 
and uh, I'm not sure about the tufts but it's got little vampire fangs coming out there you know you just think you would have saw one of those before you know but uh, nobody has the vampire deer I love the names they've come up with the tufty deer wow again when I was at school I learned about giraffes and I learned about uh, antelopes and such but never a ger gerenook gerenook or whatever that would be pronounced as a gerenook the gerenook yeah you just think that you know some children would remember this from their school days when they were learning about animals and different things from around the world you would think this would stick in someone's memory wouldn't you but of course those that um, are against the Mandela effect will just say well you know everybody's just forgotten I can remember what it is liar I'll tell you what if you can remember what this thing is please be honest and yes yeah, share your memories with us you know don't keep us all in suspense and of course hi there guys well this is a creature I never knew existed which likes uh, obviously uh, to hide because it's been hiding for the past uh, 40 years <laughs> you know because I've never seen one like this um, pink fairy armadillo um, looks like about half an armadillo and more like a pencil case or something you put on the end of your pencil when I was at school never seen anything like this the eye eye now you'd think uh, children would uh, know all about this uh, thing you know used to go to school learn about bats rats and cats never the eye eye <laughs> never an eye eye never seen this little chap before and uh, well where has he been hiding all these years it looks rabbit like I don't know what Mara is and the naked mole rat of course of course you know, um, I don't know what, what it's evolved from, <laughs> but it seems to have de-evolved, whatever it was, I'm not really sure. A mold, a mole rat, naked mole rat, forgot to put his jacket on, and the way out of its little den. Ara Wadi Dolphin, Ara Wadi Dolphin, never saw a dolphin looking like this as long as this 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 is definitely crossed with something um, Arawadi dolphin the head looks a lot more round and uh, I wonder if this has been genetically engineered hmm <coughs> a well guess